Sorry for a slave retired John Hood Reed. Uh, it's been in the military for 23 years. I started out as 18 years old at Fort Benning, in Georgia. Left there, went to uh, Vietnam, served Vietnam for one year. Come back in the United States, fought for a country that we couldn't vote. Black soldiers could not vote, but fighting for a country, we still had to come back to the United States. Go through the back door, arrive at the back seat of the Greyhound bus. So I didn't like how things were going on in the United States. So I decided to go back to Vietnam. Maybe things would get better the next time I got back. By the time I got back, they had passed the Voting Act right of 1968, which then we were able to vote. I ended up staying 23 years in the military, which I enjoyed it, and I would do it all again as I have to. Uh, this country came a long way since Vietnam. We lost a lot of good people in Vietnam, especially black soldiers. Most of the black soldiers were dying on the front line. While I was in Vietnam, my MOS was 11 Bravo, which was an infantry soldier. Most of the black soldiers, after they finished the basic training, they were assigned to it as an infantry soldier. That means you're on the front line. That means you fight. You're walking in a rice paddy. You're sleeping in mud holes. Leeches and everything hanging off of you. Uh, the rain 24-7. Uh, Sometimes it gets so hot after the rain, your, your, your boot literally riding off your feet. We had sea ration. We had to put them in a, in a sock and carry them, keep, keep them from ringing against them and make the noise at night. And uh, we had uh, lizards, snakes, rats, all kind of uh, insects that would bite on you, eat on you at night. You can get fever, uh, tomate poison all kind of diseases in Vietnam. Uh, some people just didn't make it bad because of the, the disease. Some got shot, some died of a bad disease. I got water poison uh, from drinking the water over there. Uh, it just, it's just awful. It was just awful, Le living in mud hole, sleeping on top of uh, graveyards and rice paddies. It's, it's After I left Vietnam, it's, Done a couple of uh, tours in Germany. From Germany, I went to Korea for a tour. And at that time, just by the time I needed to retire. I retired and came back home in uh, Mobile, Alabama, which I decided to make my home here. Yeah, I enjoyed the military. And uh, I have a son, he went in and he also retired the military. Uh, the military is a great part of my life. And I thank God that I made it back from Vietnam. Thank you.